Hello everybody, today I have the unboxing of the EA Sheen E012. I just got the plain one with the light on the front. There's no camera in this one, but this box actually shows one with a camera on the back here. And there's two, two other models that it shows on the back, and I got just the plain E012. So that's what we're going to look at today. Uh, it comes with a transmitter, manual, battery, which I'm assuming is a 150. Uh, uh, anything that's on here is probably covered up by that label. Um, 150 milliamp, possibly. Then a little quad, and we have a charger, a USB charger, and we have four extra props. Uh, so let's start with some measurements on the quad. It is, prop size is roughly 26 millimeters. It's kind of hard to tell with these three blade props. You can just kind of guess it. I'll probably off a millimeter or two. Uh, it's about 27 millimeters tall and 63 millimeters from side to side and front to back total. And then the prop to prop measurement diagonal is 46 millimeters. So there's your measurements on that. And the motors are 612s, 6x12, and I'm assuming they're around 40 to 50,000 RPM, but I'm not, don't quote me on that because I'm not absolutely sure. I haven't seen anything anywhere that tells me exactly what motors they are, uh, what the rep, uh, RPMs are on them. So anyway, the transmitter, you got your, uh, what is this, headless mode button, you got your return to home button, and then of course your throttle, you got your yaw, roll, and pitch. Uh, pushing down the left stick is the rate switch, and there are three rates on this. It will beep once for one, two for two, and three for three. And then on this side is your flip button. You push down and then the direction you want to flip. You have the power button right here, and you have your trim switches here and here for forward and back and your left and right roll. And to bind this thing, when you turn it on, you have to do the up and down with the throttle. So, hold on a second, turn this back on. And you have to go up and down. That's how you bind the quad to the transmitter. And then you're ready to go. Uh, calibration, for the calibrating and the gyros when it's sitting on a level surface, you do both sticks down and to the right and hold them for a second, the quad flashes. And when it stops flashing, it's calibrated. So that's the basic unboxing here. And we're gonna actually fly this thing and see what happens. Okay, the first flight of the EA Sheen E012. I already calibrated again. There we go. Okay, we'll see what this does. There's one to drift left or right. One to drift. That's, it's just going to the right. All right. Rim it. That was pretty bad going to the right there. Trim it left. And it's still going. Ah. It's just going to the right. All right. Trimmed all the way left. Or all, yeah, all the way left. Trim is 100% left. Now it wants to go to the left. Now it's hovering. Now it's still going to the right. There's something wrong with this thing. Definitely something wrong. I've got it full left on the stick, left roll, and it's still going right. Still going right. So there's something wrong with this thing. Let's put it in on next higher rate, next higher rate. See, I got it in rate two, and it's still drifting to the right with full trim left. Still drifting. I'm, I got a full left stick. Let it go. Goes right. And it's in rate two. And it's still, I got full left stick. It's still going to the right. There's something wrong with it. All right. That's it. That's the end of that flight. Okay. So now we're back after that disastrous flight. Apparently there's something wrong with this little thing. I really wanted to like this little guy for running around in the house with it, just messing around in the living room or something. But uh, apparently all it wants to do is it starts out okay, it hovers okay, but then it just starts drifting to the right. It will not stop drifting to the right no matter what you do. Trimmed it all the way to the left, same thing. 
put it in higher rate, trying to hold it back. It just wasn't working no matter what I do. So the way it's acting, it seems like there's a motors motor is bad. So I got some 612s here and uh, probably going to make this into another video, putting the motors on and then uh, we'll test it from there, see if it works. So yeah, I got some uh, 612. These are 63,000 RPM supposedly. I guess I'll put a few of these on there, put four of these on there and see what, uh, see what happens with it. So anyway, well, kind of disappointed that this thing isn't working. 20 bucks down the drain, unless I can fix it with these motors. So thanks for watching. We'll be back with the uh, repair, see what, let you know what happens with that.